All right, what's going on, everybody? I'm Blitz5, and I hope you guys are doing well. 10.2 is now live on PC and is headed to console this week on January 21st, 2021. And we will see a small change to the inventory. They are doing an improvement for console players only. And while this isn't a huge change, I figured I would highlight it quickly in this video. Here is a comparison of the new inventory and what we will see going forward versus what we had in the past. I'm going to go over the official patch notes at the end of this video, but what you need to know is first that the controls are pretty much the same and a few of the actions have been simplified. For example, if you drop a fully kitted weapon for your teammate, all they have to do is equip the weapon and all the attachments will be there. In this test in training mode, none of the attachments appeared in the inventory, which I think is meant to help reduce clutter. If you want to drop an individual attachment or all attachments, you still have the ability to do so. Next, the player outline in the middle has been removed because it is no longer serving its purpose. On console, they took away this feature to help with loading and optimization. And hopefully this will help with the visibility in the center of your screen while looting. And lastly, here, PUBG unified all of the attachment slots in the inventory screen, which personally I like. For example, I feel like this might be easier for new players to identify what attachments go on each gun. However, the new design is a little bit less transparent and takes up a little bit more space than the previous one. As an FYI, I was testing this out on PC with a controller. Everything seemed to work fine, but we'll have to wait until this launches on console to find out exactly how it goes. If you're interested in the inventory notes from PUBG, I'm going to go over them now. And if you want to hear about the entire 10.2 patch, I have a video on my channel, which I'll link here and also down in the description box below. All right, and now directly from PUBG, they've kept the existing moving controls the same and added grid controls. You can navigate around the inventory from right to left and top to bottom with the D-pad and the right stick. And also, if you tap the right stick, the functionality will be the same as selecting the A key. Intuitive improvements on item pickup slash drops. Added the quick pickup slash drop feature to allow rapid item distribution between squad members. Weapon and attachments UI slash UX optimization. Remove the unnecessary steps when selecting attachment slots and weapon slots. Swapping from weapon one to two can easily be done by selecting the new weapon slot change key. Displays all attachment slots regardless of weapon type and intuitively displays the availability of specific slots. Applied animation to provide feedback on actions such as equipping, removing weapons, and attachments. Button guide improvements. Button guides are displayed at the bottom of the inventory in the same location and content. Tooltip visual improvements. The tooltip visuals have been improved to enable intuitive information recognition. All right, so there it is. A little confusing here and a couple of tongue twisters, but hopefully my summary in the beginning of this video helped a little bit. And like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this is not a huge change, but this is a nice quality of life improvement for looting with a controller and for us console players. Hopefully everything is implemented correctly on console and I hope you guys enjoy update 10.2 and the rest of season 10. If you're interested in PUBG or other video game related content, make sure you guys subscribe for my latest videos. And as always, thank you all for watching. I'm Blitz5 and peace out.